This is Ryan and Michelle, and welcome to the Celebrate Marriage Cast 5-Minute Friday. Happy Friday! Happy Friday, everyone. I love Fridays. I know, it's so great. Makes me so happy. So great. So on Tuesday, if if you listened, um, if you haven't, I would encourage you to to go back and listen. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michelle, we talked a lot about running a race. Mm-hmm. Now, yep. We've done a fair share of races in our day. Right. So we gave you a practical application that applies to your marriage. Absolutely. So we encourage you, go back to listen, go back and listen. Mm-hmm. Um, but we want to share with you just a simple, simple assignment for the weekend. It's not running, or maybe it is. I don't know what you're giving us. No. Are we no. going to make them go run? No. Okay, it's, tell us what it's we're doing. Not, it's not running, but it's it's something similar. I understand running is not like fun <laughs> for a lot of people. I don't even know if I'd want to go out running. I don't even, I don't, it's not as fun anymore. It's not as fun know. anymore. Um, My knees just hurt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but here's a simple assignment. Okay. Do something active with your spouse this weekend. Okay. So Gary Thomas wrote in his book uh, a, f- a few weeks ago, we interviewed Gary Thomas um, in his book, Making Your Marriage a Fortress. He talks about how connection is elevated when your heart rate is elevated. Ryan, I actually have that here. Let me read this quote. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. He said, there's an interesting explanation for this. Renowned psychologist and relationship expert, John Gortman, has demonstrated that elevated heartbeats, 95 beats or more per minute, put our brains in a heightened state of emotion, which leads to more meaningful conversation during or immediately after the activity, which gives a couple a better chance of creating a positive memory. Mm, that's mm-hmm. so good. Yep. So good. So your assignment this weekend, get out there, get your heart pumping over 95 beats a minute, right? Yep. 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 And enjoy that connection with your spouse. What are what are some examples that they can do then? Yeah, I mean, I think I think you could you could go for a walk. You could go play pickleball. Yeah, where we've gotten yep. into pickleball. Yep. That's pretty fun. Yep. Here's some from the book. Here he said, um, working out with your spouse. Working out with your spouse is a brain hack for better connectivity. So it could be active dating, such as a brisk walk. Um, rafting. I don't know if we're going to go rafting around here. No. Nope. Um, buying tickets to a baseball game, um, running the, the baselines. Um, yeah, I think you could do anything, right? Yeah. I mean, just getting out there. Yeah. Maybe it's just going to the gym together. Yeah. You know, I feel like working out with you, um, you know, I feel like I'm always attracted to you when we work out together. It's just yeah. something about like those endorphins pumping yeah. and just like That's doing right. something like a physical challenge together. Yeah. yeah. So, Okay, so get out there. Weather is nice. Get out there and do something that gets your heart over 95 beats per minute and see what happens. Yeah. Ooh la la. Ooh, all right. (laughs) All right, you guys. Thanks for joining us today on the Celebrate Marriage Cast. Hey, if you don't have a church home, we would love to have you online. Celebrate.church. We have a service online at 1030. If you are around the Sioux Falls, South Dakota area, we would love to have you in person, 845 or 1030. Find us at celebrate.church for our location. And we hope that you have a great weekend and get that heart pumping. Yeah, have a great weekend.